Surely you can make room for that tomorrow. And as far as my father, the, the king, well, you already know what he'll think. Yes. Yes, I'm well aware. These warnings are only upon us because... I'm listening. Never mind. Hush. Be on your way. You have my word, and I must attend to something. as ever. Oh, hush, as if anyone bats an eye at my words. Yes, I know I'm a prince, and you're a maid. And yes, I'm well troubled by the advisors for such minuscule things. Now, do you see any advisors nearby? Excellent observation. Don't you hear when a person is coming your way? Carrying hot tea or other objects through the halls. Meanwhile, all the time others are passing through. Is this not a daily occurrence? Hush now. Did you get burnt? Your hand is awfully warm. From carrying the tea. You're carrying it by a cold metal tray. What did I say? Set this down and flee from sight to the room which was reserved for your quarters. Go now before the others see your path. You are obviously unwell. You can't walk straight. Answer a simple question correctly, or otherwise. Away with you. Wait for me there. And don't trip, love. Yes. I'm here now. What's in my hands? What I need for your stay here. Did you eat today? No. I know exactly what's going to happen. At best, one of the advisors or another maid will tend to you for a moment and then leave you to your own, or you'll just be expected to get over it. Don't bother telling anyone. Just let them assume you're perfectly well, and you're helping me with whatever I desire. And you are helping me with whatever I desire, which is that you don't move, you shut up, and you get taken care of by someone that won't sweep you far under the rug. Even with any family to speak of, you won't be allowed home longer than until the next sunrise. 
Am I bitter about how they run the place? Well, no. I'm used to it. Used to it enough that I know the intricacies of how every possible inconvenience will play out. What is it to you? It's about time you've had a break. Possibly some tea with milk and honey. I'll take the responsibility because I've been hard on you from the beginning. You don't know what you could have. You can't work. They don't dislike you because you're a bad maid. They dislike you because you're... Am I calling you a bad maid? I'm not calling you a bad maid. But you should know. Surely, you were meant for more than all of this anyway. Have I not made that clear? I'd like it to be as clear to you as it is to me. You won't get me sick. What's more, if you did, I would be over it quickly. I have more than enough luxuries to do so. Lay back now. I'll brush the hair away from your face. You are, as I said, quite warm. The cold feels nice. Well, I have something better than my hand for that. My hand is all you want. Your sickness begs to differ, however, I suppose I can stay like this a moment longer. Oh no, like I said, they won't touch you. You think I want them to pay more attention to you? And spoil what little time we do have together? Maybe if they did something useful. Perhaps I should feign illness if it means you can get the medicine from an actual physician. You're coughing. That's enough then. I'll get something cold for your forehead. I've already snuck in some tea. Hold still. this cloth. It should provide some relief. You really 
should take better care of yourself. Constantly pushing yourself like this isn't going to earn you any extra medals. They will never be impressed. Made or otherwise. It's chamomile with a touch of honey. It should help soothe your throat. Good. Now, lie still and rest. You're not to move until you're fully recovered. Understood? expect me to admit it openly, but I do need you here. You help keep things less tedious. There won't be any help like this, no matter how you try. I'll be arranging these. do its work. I shall stay with you however long I can get away with. This is acceptable, I suppose, however. Just move over. your head on my lap. It's, it's more comfortable than these stiff pillows. There. Just relax. I will keep watch. infuriatingly stubborn. You should have told me sooner if you weren't feeling well. I don't want you collapsing on duty. It reflects poorly on me, you know. forehead feels cooler now. The cloth must be helping. The cloth must be helping. You really do get into trouble so easily. Always rushing around. But I suppose that's why you're always there when I need you. And I appreciate that. Even if I don't say it often.
Yes, yes. I understand. You don't need to say anything. Just lie still. And let the tea work its magic. soft, you know. Drink more. That should help with the fever. And don't spill it this time. You're not completely terrible, you know. Despite all the trouble you cause. And... You can cause as much trouble as you see fit. Soon enough. Exactly what I mean. That all of this is temporary. A strange suspension of time. That is. When all is said and done, and your title is changed. That's enough talking for now. Just rest. I'll keep watch. Strain yourself. Just lie still. chosen duty. You're still warm. The fever hasn't completely broken yet. I suppose we can stay a bit longer. Someone needs to ensure you recover properly. Your hand... It feels cooler now. That's a good sign. 